Expectations are high for the 2023-2024 budget, with senators on both sides of the political divide dishing on what is to come in the estimates of expenditure and revenue next week. Leader of Opposition Business in the Senate, Dominic Fedi, outside Parliament on Thursday morning, was not optimistic. He accused the government of wasting time on partisan politics, with no clear indication of its fiscal plan of action. They've spent so much of their time uh, playing politics, attacking um, opposition members of Parliament, that it's very, very difficult for us to understand in which direction they'll go. But one thing is clear. Um, they, if they continue on how they have started, they have taxed the people of St. Lucia rather than um, alleviating some of the pain that we feel, feel on issues um, of cost of living. Fede argues that the rising cost of basic commodities, fuel products and public transportation must be addressed in the forthcoming estimates in late March and the appropriations bill in May. All of this tells you that um, there needs to be uh, a better look at the fiscal policy to address the issues that are facing um, in a very debilitating way um, the low income bracket of this country. On the other hand, leader of government business in the Senate, Gibeon Ferdinand, is upbeat about the upcoming budget. He defended what he views as the government's reasoned approach to addressing the myriad of socio-economic challenges in a post-pandemic world. Really to empower um, our people and to create opportunity. So I think in this budget we will see uh, a focus, yes, on um, security, national security, and, and as well as health, but look out for initiatives and policy statements and policy measures that will strengthen our social um, support systems. Just yesterday we heard the leader of the opposition say that um, the government lacks a social conscience. He pointed to a number of rising um, prices in different areas. Do you think that was a fair statement? Given the context in which we operate, I don't think so. I think we, we have to acknowledge that we, we have inflation and we have issues. However, everything that the government has done thus far is really helping to cope. I mean, look at how we've subsidized bread, for example, the Ministry of Commerce. Look at the initiatives we've taken in agriculture, in tourism, and all of those measures I mentioned, really are in, to, to help to cushion the blow. We've subsidized almost everything in this country. So I think you have to find a balance. You can't pay for everything, but if you provide support, you can help people cushion the blow. Um, I don't think it's fair to say that the government does not have a social conscience. I think what the government is doing is being responsible and trying to uh, provide the support wherever is, is available and necessary. The Standing Finance Committee of the House of Assembly will meet behind closed doors to review the estimates at 10 a.m. Tuesday, March 28, 2023, before the presentation, later in the day at 2 p.m., by Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Philip J. Pierre. During the subsequent debate on the estimates, Parliamentarians will confine their contributions to the line items in the budget and various developments in their respective constituencies. Solajal Fred, HTS News Force.